showing Spectrum Noir's Illustrator brush markers. These markers are alcohol-based with one fine tip end and one brush tip end. These markers do seem to blend really well into each other. I did notice that when you are drawing with the markers, it does apply pretty streaky, but if you layer over it once or twice, it does smooth out a bit. I got this six pack off of Amazon for $16.88, making each marker $2.81 a piece. Today I'm reviewing Art & Fly brush markers. The very first thing that I noticed is that these markers are really pretty. They are dual tip markers with one chisel end and one brush tip end. These draw really clean and smoothly and they blend really well into each other. I got this 12 piece set on Amazon for $21.97, making each marker $1.83 a piece. Somebody recommended that I try out these Artist Loft markers. They're double sided with one broad tip and one brush tip. I was pleasantly surprised with these markers. They draw really smoothly and they blend really well together. I found them at Michael's for $4.99 a piece. Today I'm reviewing Artesia Pro Series markers. These markers are dual tipped with one nylon brush tip and one medium chisel tip. Turns out that these ones are water based. It does recommend that you use them with watercolor paper, but today I'm using them with marker paper. With just one layer, it does seem to apply to the paper just fine, but once I tried to blend or overlap the colors, it did start to shred the paper a bit. I got this 12 pack on Amazon for $18, making each marker $1.50. Uh, maybe next time I'll try them out on watercolor paper. I don't usually use paint pens, but this was one of the most requested things for me to try out. These are Posca pens. I got this 7-pack on Amazon for $12.99. I had used them one time in the past before, and I thought the quality was pretty good. This time around, I think the pigment came out pretty chunky. I don't know if I just got a bad pack or if I should try them again in the future. Either way, I really like the colors that came in this set. Um, today, I'm trying out this pack of Artify markers. Now, these are alcohol-based markers. Each marker is double-sided with one chisel tip and one brush tip. I've tried Artify in the past, and they've always been really good. These ones are just as great. They draw really smoothly. They blend really well. Uh, this pack comes with a lot of variety of colors for a pretty low price. They're on Amazon for $29.99, making each marker $0.62 cents a piece. Artic sent me this acrylic marker set, so I'm going to try them out today. These are water-based markers. They are single-sided with one brush tip. If you've ever used any kind of paint marker, this is very similar. Uh, the ink applies nice and solidly, just like acrylic paint. This 30-piece set is on Amazon for $26.99, making each marker $0.89 cents a piece. Today, we're trying out Ohuhu brush markers. These are alcohol-based markers. They are double-sided with one chisel tip and one brush tip. They draw nice and smoothly, and they're really good for blending. These are actually a really popular option for lower-cost markers. I got this 38-pack off Amazon for $39.99, making each marker $0.83 cents a piece. You guys recommended that I try out these Cali Art markers. Markers. These are alcohol-based markers. The ones that I got are double-sided with one chisel tip and one fine tip. They seem to blend just fine and they actually draw super smoothly. I'd say that these are pretty good markers for the price. This 51 piece set was on Amazon for $26.99, making each marker $0.52 cents a piece. Trying out sketch marker brush markers today. Uh, these markers are alcohol-based. They are double-sided with one chisel tip and one brush tip. I would definitely say that these are high-quality markers. They draw very smoothly and they blend incredibly well. They do come with a high price though. This 60 three pack is $155 on Amazon, making each marker $4.31 a piece. Today I wanted to highlight these Winsor Newton Pro markers. They are alcohol-based markers. They are double-sided with one brush tip end and one chisel end. These ones have a really soft brush tip and they draw and blend really smoothly. These ones are definitely on the higher priced end. This 12 pack's on Amazon for $44, making each marker $3.60 a piece. I had no idea that Blick Studio had their own alcohol markers until one of you guys recommended that I try them out. Uh, they are alcohol-based markers. They're double-sided with one chisel end and one brush end. They draw smoothly and they blend pretty well. I really like the pastel colors that come in this pack. I could only find these markers on Blick Studio's website. This six pack was $24, making each marker $4 a piece. For everyone who's been asking what color liners I use, it is these Stedler Fine Liners. This is my go-to color pack because you get such a large variety of colors for a small price. But the 60 piece set was $44. They are water-based liners, so they do smudge a bit when you use them with alcohol markers, but I still love to work with them anyways, and I use them on almost all of my drawings. But today I'm going to try out these Art Beak markers. These are alcohol-based markers. The ones that I'm trying out are double-sided with one fine nib end and one chisel end. These are markers that I have tried out before. I would say that they're pretty good. They blend really well and they draw really smoothly. But the biggest upside of these markers is the low price point. This 80 piece set is on Amazon for $26.99, making each marker $0.33 cents a piece. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions about these. These are the liners that I've been using to do my drawings for my Artemis series. These are Ohuhu liners. I got this pack a while back. I really like the variety of tips that you get. The great thing about these is that when you pair them with alcohol markers, they don't smudge at all. I really like these ones a lot and I use them pretty often. 
Today we're taking a look at Copic markers. These seem to have become the standard for what a good quality alcohol marker is. These brush nibs are pretty soft and they're really good quality. They draw incredibly smooth and they blend really well. These tend to also be the higher end price point for markers. You can find them online or at craft stores ranging between five or eight dollars. Today I'm trying out Sharpie markers. The set that I got is called Mystic Gems. I think that it's called that because the marker colors are named after crystals. Sharpies are alcohol based markers and because they're alcohol based they do draw just like other alcohol markers. For me it's so satisfying to draw with a Sharpie. They did draw relatively smooth and they blended just okay I think. This five piece set was on Amazon for $7.20 making each marker $1.44 a piece. I was really surprised how many people requested I review these markers since I've never heard of them before. These are Weiss Brandt alcohol based markers. I was pleasantly surprised at the quality of they draw really nice and smoothly and are a good comparison to Ohuhu markers. I found the 50 piece set on Amazon for $21.99. Today I wanted to take a look at these Parku markers. These are alcohol-based markers. They draw pretty smooth and they blend really well. Comes with a great assortment of colors. And this is a really good set if you're on a budget. This 80 piece set is on Amazon for $29.99, making each marker 37 cents a piece. I found something out at the mall today. Typo has their own brand of alcohol markers. I have to try them. They are smooth, a little hard to blend. The colors are nice. These are Parku's water-based lining pens. I think the neat thing about these is that not only are they a liner on one side, but they also have a brush tip. I usually don't use the brush tip to color in, but I did for this example. I have used these for liners in the past, and I think they work decently. They are a good option if you want a lot of colors. So today I'm taking a look at these Copic multi-liners. They draw pretty nice and smoothly on marker paper, and they pair really well with alcohol markers. Uh, they are a bit pricey though. This four-piece set is on Amazon for $15. People have been asking what sketchbook I use. I've been using these Ohuhu marker pads for about two years now. This sketchbook is the best for using with alcohol markers. Um, the markers don't bleed through the page like they do on regular paper, and it comes with this plastic sheet that you can place underneath your paper. So even if the markers do bleed through, they won't bleed onto the next page. 